look, it was funny for Tom Brady to say that, but he he I don't think he ever jokes. I think for him, every joke flows from some fundamental truth, and he said what he said. There was a team that was interested, and at the very end, they weren't, and he thought, you're sticking with that bleepity bleep bleep. And so yesterday, everyone was trying to figure out who he was referring to, which team and which quarterback. And the leader, clearly, yes, is Jimmy Garoppolo. Right. Clearly. Right. Because Tom Brady wanted to go play yes. for the 49ers. The, the team he rooted for growing up, he was at the catch game, if you haven't heard. We just talked about the catch game yesterday. He, he was there and witnessed Drew Pearson get tackled by Eric Wright to save the game. He wanted to play for the 49ers. They didn't want him. We put it out to a vote, and... The, the, the four finalists that I came up with were yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo, Ryan Tannehill, Mitchell Trubisky, and Drew Locke. Whoever voted, uh, who, whoever's, whoever's account that comes from voted for Drew Locke. Um, I, look, I, I never heard that he wanted to go to the Broncos or the Titans or even the Bears. The only teams I knew about that he was interested in were the 49ers and the Colts. Yeah. And the Colts didn't have a quarterback then. Well, no, I, I they, mean. They didn't have an mf -er to stick with. No, you're right. There, there was nothing there. I mean, th that the obvious thought is definitely Jimmy Garoppolo, the 49ers, everything about that. Now, I will say, I think there was rumors out there at the time, and I think we talked about this a little bit about Tennessee a little bit, where that was in the conversation where we thought they maybe they were pursuing him and thinking about it a little. But, yeah, I have a hard time thinking he was think saying that about Tannehill, who had just come off a pretty good year, too. It Comeback player of the year right. and so, beat Tom Brady in his last game with the Patriots. Exactly. So that's where you come back to everything you said. And we know it came down to, you know, Tampa, San Francisco, and New England. I mean, that's what it was. And really, other than New England, it was that Tampa, Tampa San Francisco model. And everything we've known or heard anyways was, hey, that yeah, the 49ers said, hey, we're going to stick with Jimmy G. We just went to the Super Bowl. We're going to stick with him. So... Uh, that's the obvious thought there. There's no doubt about it. Now, I will say this. Do we know he's definitely talking about that right there? Do they? we sure that's not cut up in some sequence or something like that to make it well, like, you know, that's what I'm... If they, if, they, if they did that... It's very misleading. Then he should be upset. Yes. Because they created the impression. Yes, you're that right. That's what he was talking about. So then about. he probably... And did. I don't know what else he would have been talking about. Yeah. What else would he have been talking about? Yeah. You're right. So then... When it came down not... to the end and someone wasn't interested, yeah, I mean... Yeah, you're th right. That, that's the clear implication that everyone has reached and the only person who has articulated it otherwise is you and you're acting on what pete demolitis texted yesterday that are we sure this isn't something yeah i'm just look, throwing I, it I out no there problem yeah. with being thorough right because it does it's edited clearly they lifted something out yeah but but it it would be the height of unfairness to tom brady right for that to have dealt with something completely unrelated to his free agency from last year he he should be and he and you know what? It was such a big deal yesterday. If it wasn't in reference to what we all thought it was, he should have said something. Yeah, yesterday. right. He would have. He would have. That's I, so. I mean, that dispels that. I think we're we're on that. This was definitely tangible, and it was just a team he was interested in. And yeah, like for people that are out there, I, I want to go. I hear the Bears and people saying that. I want to go. Like, I, I I don't know. I never heard any inkling that Tom Brady was even remotely interested in the Chicago Bears. What? All the questions about their offense and their offensive line and inability to run the ball and everything. You know, everybody's questioned that side of the ball in Chicago the last two years. I don't think that was the place he was looking at going, let me go there to the unproven, not really talented side of the football in Chicago and do that. No, that was never. So I don't, I don't think that Mitchell Trubisky is part of the conversation. I mean, it just seems like all signs are pointed towards Jimmy G. Um, and I don't know, maybe he won't get in, invited to the Kentucky Derby next year either. I, and, and some have argued, well, it was, he was clearly joking around. He was trying to get a rise out of the other folks. He's trying to make for good TV. That's I'm, fine. Yeah. That's fine. But he still said it. Yeah, he right. still said it. Right. He no, still said you're it. You're right. You're right. So. You know, yes. Uh, so that's, that's, it is what it is. But, yes, I think everybody's going to continue to think that's Jimmy Garoppolo that he's referring to for sure. Hopefully when – the Buccaneers convene for training camp. Someone in the press corps will remember to ask him, Tom, who is the mf -er to whom you were referring? And we'll see what he has to say about that.
because surely he'll be asked about it. It it created such a stir yesterday and will continue to do so that it's not going to be forgotten by the next time he's in front of a camera or a microphone. Surely he'll be asked about it at some point, but uh, we'll see. And I doubt that he'll be candid about it, but uh, uh, he still needs to be asked the question. Um, and uh, it, 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 it makes for interesting times as he continues his career going forward. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.